the sound of the $293,200-911 GT2 RS is like nothing of the current Porsche lineup, or on the road right now, period hammer the floor-mounted accelerator pedal and the GT2 RS spits raw, melodious frequencies that will rumble your spine and make your hair stand on end. We wanted to make an honest turbo, Porsche's Andreas Bruninger, who's in charge of Porsche high-performance GT range of cars like the 911 GT3 and Cayman GT4, says, because nowadays turbos tend to get modified in a way that they feel like 10-liter, naturally aspirated engines, and that's not the point. Bruninger's voice speeds up, like a whirring compressor I think a turbo motor has so many interesting sounds and characteristics I wanted this turbo to burble and overrun to make hissing sounds of the wastegate and mechanical noises. The breathing of the engine, the way it builds up power, even a little turbo lag, why not? The GT2 RS had to be different, and it is big time. A large part of Reuninger's job involves preserving the company's sporting soul in road-joying vehicles, which is a particularly critical part of Porsche's business get a GT right, and you can call the critics who say the manufacturer is losing the plot by building Cayennes and Panameras. Get it wrong, and you risk alienating the diehards and Porsche evangelists. This time around, Preuninger went old school to create that elusive difference, he dug into the Porsche Museum collection and put a 1970-0935 turbo and several turbocharged race cars on a lift, measuring things like intake runner lengths and the header diameters the findings helped shape the GT2 RS's inimitable howl, 